Hi there, it's Frank here, and welcome to part four of my How to Use VirtualBox series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share a folder from your host machine to your virtual machines in order to exchange and store files. This is really useful in order to have a common file storage area that can be backed up separately from your virtual machines, and most importantly, to easily allow multiple virtual machines access to the same files in a common file storage area. You can create and share multiple folders with some or all of your guest virtual machines, and the best part is that it's super easy to do. And I'll show you how to do it with both Windows 8.1 and Linux Mint 17 virtual machines. So let's get started. Now one thing you're going to want to have on your virtual machines before this is going to work is that you must have the guest additions installed on the guest operating systems as I showed in the first part of this series. Now here I have a couple of virtual machines with fresh installs. I have Windows 8.1 and a Mint 17, 17.1 I should say. Now the first thing I want to do is create a folder on my host machine that I'm going to share with everybody. So let's do that here. I'll just create a new folder. Just call it share folder and that's all you got to do. There's nothing special about this folder. Just create it. It's the same in, in Linux as it is in Windows. You don't have to share it on the host operating system. You just simply create it. That's all you got to do. Now in this share folder I'm going to go ahead and I'm go ahead and put a generic document in there just so I have something in it and close it up. And now on my Windows 8 machine I'm going to click on that and go down here to shared folders. Just click on that and there's a little plus folder icon here. Just click on that and the folder path will just go down here to other and click on desktop and my share folder and just click on open. And the thing you want to make sure you do here is click on auto mount and that way every time you start up the operating system and the virtual machine it'll automatically mount this folder here for you. And click OK, click OK, and that is it. Now notice it says shared folders one. You can have multiple shared folders here. There's no problem at all. Just create new ones. Let's do the same thing with my Windows Mint 17.1. Just go to shared folders, click on the little plus, click the down arrow, say other, go to desktop, share folder, open, auto mount, OK, OK, and done. Now let's start up Windows 8.1 and I'll show you how to find that little guy. OK, so our Windows 8.1 machine is opened up here. I'm just going to open up File Explorer. And if you look down here, you can see it's already found that and mapped it here for us. And if I just, it shows it disconnected, but if you just double click on it, there it is, and there's my generic document. So that is working. And that's basically all you have to do with Windows 8.1 or any other Windows host. It just automatically mounts that network drive and makes it accessible to you. No worries. Now let's try the same thing with the Mint 17.1 machine. Just going to start that up. And as usual with Linux, there's a little extra step or two you need to go through to get this all to work properly. It's not real hard. I'll show you how to do it as soon as this thing starts up. Okay, so here's my Linux Mint 17.1 virtual machine up and running. Where's my shared folder? Well, let's go in here to Home. Bring this up here to see it. And what you want to do is click on File System. And it's going to be by default in the Media folder. So double click on that. And here it is right here, SF for shared folder, share folder. And that's the folder that I created over here. So let's open that up and eh? folder contents could not be displayed. You do not have permissions necessary. Why are you giving me this nonsense? Well, here's what you got to do in Linux Mint. I told you there was an extra step here. You need to add yourself to the VBox SF user group. Don't worry, it's easy. Let me just open up a terminal window. And you want to do this on the virtual machine itself. You don't need to do this on the host machine, just on the Linux virtual machine. And let's see what member of groups we are here. Just go into groups and your username. HRH is the username. I'm not a member of that group at all, so let's add it. We want to put in sudo for super user. 
user mod, dash A for append, dash capital G for group, and the group was gonna be VBox SF for share folder, and then put your username here, which is HRH. And again, this is your username if you're not sure. And just hit enter, put in your password, and it should be done. And let's check our groups now. And there we are. Now I'm a member of the VBox SF or shared folders group. Let's close that thing. Now here's the trick. Now that you've done that, it does not take effect until you log off or restart this virtual machine, the Linux virtual machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to log off. Just log out and log back in. Go back and find my folder. File system media and there's my share folder it doesn't have that little x anymore so let's see if i can open it now bingo there's my generic document display that there's my generic document cool now let's see here i can also copy my kitty video into that folder and we'll just close this i'll minimize that and i'm on my host machine now which is also linux mint just open that shared folder and there's my kitty vid. Oh, this thing is going to be huge. Everybody's going to want to see this video. So cool. So there it is. That's how to share a folder from your host machine to your virtual machines to exchange and store files. Very useful feature. I use it all the time. And I hope you found this informative and useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. And until next time... Cheers.